Yeah, you know, his back's against the wall. He's not thinking very clearly. It's still my fault. What were you doing there last night, Mia? I owed him money. For what? It doesn't matter. Why would you go to him, Mia? I didn't know what else to do. It's not like we have easy access to cash here. I know that, but out of anyone you could have gone to, why him? You don't think I haven't heard this already? I'm just trying to help you. Well, it's not helping. I messed up and Shane's in trouble because of me. Well, Shane will be fine. No, he won't. What he did? There's no going back from that. Look, we're not going to let anything happen to you or Shane. I want to believe you. I just don't think I can. Of course you can. I'm never wrong. Promise? Of course. Do you know how hard it is being me? Living in a house with five younger siblings, always having to look after them? I mean, are my parents serious? I'm a teenager, I should be out doing teenage things. But instead, whenever I ask to do anything, it's always, you have to look after your siblings. Mum, can I go to the movies tomorrow? No, darling, you have to stay and look after the children. Ugh. Or, Dad, can I go to a party tonight? No, Mum and me are going out. Going out isn't even a real reason. And don't even get me started on how hard it is to look after the little brats. Sis, I don't cut my hair. Sis, I accidentally painted the cat blue. <sighs> it's so annoying. Mum and Dad are the ones who had the kids. They should be the ones who look after them. So no, Rebecca, I won't be going to the party tonight. And truthfully, I don't think I'll be going to any other parties either. Do me a favour, you want a grieving contest? Go find someone else. I know how you grieve. Go have another drink. What the hell is that supposed to mean? What do you know? You know nothing. You don't know how I live. No, I don't know what you go through, or if you go through anything. But that's your choice, not mine. You're goddamn right it is. My choice isn't to scream at the world. Maybe one of us has to be reasonable here. <sighs> reasonable? Gee, I don't know about you, but I miss our brother. I'm glad you have time to be reasonable. That's what you imparted to Frank, that sense and reason. He thought you were very reasonable. What are you talking about? Nothing. Are you saying that I, that I'm the one responsible? Is that it? Well, let me tell you something. You got it backwards. I know what you think, that I was too lenient, that I let him get away with- Everything! Everything! Oh, really? And why didn't he come to you? Because he didn't talk to me. He didn't trust me. You made sure of that. Why wouldn't he talk to you? Because you never listened to him. But you did. You were winking at him the entire time. You were encouraging him. Oh my God, you've got to be kidding. You know I'm right. Do you want to know why our brother is dead? Do you really want to know? He was with her not because of me. He went there because of you. Because you were so overbearing, so angry, so controlling. That's not true. Yes, it is. Even when he was a kid, you were always telling him it was wrong. You're so unforgiving you are, that's what he said, and you're pulling the same shit with me. And that's a horrible way to be, it's horrible, you're bitter. You can point your finger at me all you like, but you better take a goddamn good look at yourself first. I just wanted to talk about what happened. You want me to be open with you, embrace you? You scare me, how can I talk to you? I can't even look at you. 